as we sit up there and continue. Like I said, man, then he sit up there and move, sit up there and bring in a motherfucking pool and shit. I don't, I just don't get the shit. You know what I'm saying? Then he sit up there and have the beef. The beef wasn't real with motherfucking Soldier Boy. Who gives a flying fucking dry salami whole fucking whole doggy ass of a Gatorade's nipple? Okay? I don't give a fuck about that shit. Nigga, make music. I thought that we as artists, that was the whole reason of us being hungry and getting into the business anyway, is to make fucking music that we like. And in that, and so, and making that music, bringing music to the fans that they will like. But all of a sudden, it, it just got, it just got diluted. You know what I'm saying? People go from going from hardcore talking about. Guns and bulletproof vests and I kill a nigga. Pow, 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 la, la, la. To, to motherfucking, hey girl, kiss me one time on the ear. Yeah, let me pay for you. Hop in my new whip. It's 2025 Lamborghini Lambo with the butterfly doughs that float in the mid air. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know, you, how the fuck do you go from that to. All of your other um, albums talking about fucking whips and shit. Big timers, they got away with that shit. Cash money, they got away with that shit. But guess what? Are they around now? Are they ever coming back? I heard a reunion, but I still haven't heard no news on that. I hate to say it, but until they come back, it's dead. It's all. Now, moving on from that, of course, like I said, you got people who come in in the R&B game. Some people I find cool. You know what I'm saying? I find Music Soul Child cool. You know, I, I find, you know, Jill Scott cool. You know what I'm saying? I find Josh Stone, you know what I'm saying, a wonderful singer. You know, Fantasia, she's a wonderful singer. Broke as hell, but wonderful singer. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, you know, the Clark sisters, the Clark daughters. You know what I'm saying? Freaking, they they can blow. You know what I'm saying? My boy Jermaine, big ups to Jermaine from Sunday's Best. The boy got pipes. Um, You know what I'm saying? All them people can sing. But then it's like, I mean, I know I was talking about the R&B case, but I'm just saying people, some people that can blow, and then there's just some people that really just can't sing, but for some reason they get on, and then they sit up there and make it hot, but they really can't sing. Now, it was a thing on Yahoo where they were talking about stars that lip sync and the reason why they do it. Now, this has been going on for years. I don't give a fuck what you say. Britney been doing it fucking for years and getting away with it, making hella money at concerts, cheating the people out of their fucking shit. Now, if this shit ever happened to me, I, my voice must be fucking gone or I just can't fucking sing no more. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying. I, it's got it's to be a reason for that. So, you know, you think you got Britney singing the songs and thing. They fixing it up. Lip singing the whole thing at the concert. If you notice while she dancing, she ain't never took a breath. Now one time, if somebody's singing, you know they tell us something. You know what I'm saying? They would have to take a breath at some time. But no, you know what I'm saying? Chris Brown, good dancer, very good dancer, makes good music also. But can he really sing? And dance. No. He cannot. There's a poll on YouTube and also on freaking um Yahoo. And it says, and I quote, Chris Brown, dancer or singer. Although he's a great dancer, his performance singing wise is low par. Okay, now for some of y'all who may not 
understand those type of words mean. That means Chris Brown can dance his ass off. This is in ghetto, regular language terms right here for some people right here. The nigga can dance, but the nigga can't sing. Okay? All day. Hey, I got friends and you got friends. They hop out and you hop in. All that shit. Okay, yeah. He's singing that in the studio. They fix it up a little bit. Yeah. Concerts that take you down shit. Lip sync. When he first started with that running shit and he came on 106 in Park, if you look back and find that shit on YouTube, you will actually see that that nigga sound horrible. That nigga sound horrible. And then he tried to sing at this another award show, sound horrible while he was dancing. That's why they started to lip sync him. Then take... Oh... Who's another one? Who's another good person that you could say that can that's freaking lip sync in? Hmm. I don't know. I don't really know right now. Cause there's just so many freaking out there. I just just don't understand. But as far as the whole lip sync thing, they said that it was supposed to be so they could save their voice for the bigger task. What bigger task is that? If you can't sing live in front of your fans, what other task can there be? Or what you're saving your voice for studios, recording, whatever like that? Okay, well that comes later on down the line after you freaking done with your first album and you do your little touring thing, get a little few months break, you know what I'm saying, then you come back in the studio, bam, you know what I'm saying, you sit up there and do whatever the hell you got to do. You know what I'm saying? That's how that shit is. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to sit up there and go into the studio because you're hungry. You stay in there for grilling hours, 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 doing your fucking music, doing what the hell you got to do. And then your ass sit up there and you go home, you rest, you get up and do the same thing again the next motherfucking morning. You know what I'm saying? That's a real. That's what a real hungry nigga would do. You know what I'm saying? But now... How the economy is. Things is fucked up. Shit is crazy. Just don't know no more. Just don't know. Well, on that note, this is your boy Swagger having himself a nice Gatorade. Saying peace, love, and hair grease. And so train. Oh, yes. Also, you can also see me at the Facebook at J A M E L L W I L B U R N. Or you can also see my freaking uh, 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 MySpace at www.myspace.com slash Jamel. J A M E L L W I L B U R N. Sorry, I'll just be in the trademark of Ricky Bobby Inc. <laughs>